everyone, it's Miss Azos here. Welcome back. It's so great to see you all, and I can't wait to dive into today's math topics. Let's begin. We've already learned how to add ones, so today we are going to take what we know about adding ones and use that information to help us with adding groups of 10. That being said, our goal for today is I can add groups of 10. In order for us to start thinking about how we can use what we know about adding ones to adding groups of 10, I'd like us to look at some addition sentences together and think about how they are alike. Okay, so I have two addition sentences for you. 3 plus 5 and 30 plus 50. I want you to look at them closely. How are these number sentences alike? You are correct. There's two ways that these addition sentences are alike. First of all, they're both addition sentences, so they both involve adding, but also they both have a 3 and a 5 in them. Noticing these similarities, how can we use 3 plus 5 to help us solve for 30 plus 50? Right. If I know the sum of 3 plus 5, then all I need to do is add a 0 because I'm adding groups of 10. So if 3 plus 5 is equal to 8, that must mean that 30 plus 50 is equal to 80. And there, we have our sum of 30 plus 50, which is equal to 80. Nice work. By using what we know about adding ones to add groups of 10, we are saving time and we are more likely to get the answer correct. Because if we chose to count on our fingers, we'd run the risk of making lots and lots of mistakes with all of that counting. Could you imagine if we did all of that counting on our fingers? That would take forever. Okay. So let's take that information that we know about adding ones and use it to help us with adding groups of 10. Let's try looking at another problem. How about 30 plus 40? 30 plus 40. Hmm. How can we solve this? <sighs> oh, right. I just said it. We can solve this by using what we know about adding those ones. If I know that 3 tens plus 4 tens is equal to 7 tens, then I know that 30 plus 40 is equal to 70 because all I need to do is add that 0 to the end to show that I'm adding groups of 10. Now that we've practiced adding groups of 10, let's try adding a story problem. It's story problem time! Here is my story problem. I have 20 chocolate chip cookies and 30 sugar cookies. How many cookies do I have in all? At this point, pause the video and write your answer down and make sure you show your work as well. Thank you for showing me all of your hard work. Again, we can use what we know about adding ones to find our sum. If I know that two tens plus three tens is equal to five tens, then I know that 20 plus 30 is equal to 50. Now you've practiced adding groups of 10 and adding groups of 10 in a story problem. So I've decided to throw in a bonus challenge. <laughs> In this bonus challenge, I want you to see if you can use what you know about subtracting ones to help you subtract groups of 10. You ready? Okay, here's your bonus challenge. I have 60 strawberries. I ate 20. How many strawberries do I have? At this point, pause your video and write your answer down. Again, I want you to show me your work. If I know that 6 minus 2 is equal to 4, then all I need to do is add a 0 because I'm subtracting groups of 10. 
So, if 6 minus 2 is equal to 4, then 60 minus 20 is equal to 40. You all deserve a round of applause at this point. Thank you all for working so hard. It is that time where we get to reflect on all of our hard work today and think about whether or not we met our goal. Our goal for today was, I can add groups of 10. Friends, not only did we practice adding groups of 10, but we also practiced adding groups of 10 in a story problem and we threw in some subtraction. So I think that we went above and beyond today. I think today has been a slam dunk. I hope you continue to practice what we've learned today at home because next lesson, we're going to take all of this information that we know about adding tens to practice adding tens on a hundred chart. I hope you have a great rest of your day. I can't wait to see you at our next lesson. Bye everyone.